Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to share your screen using OBS. So right now we have one scene set up. You can see my webcam and I am talking to you right here. But I wanna add a little more dimension to my live stream. I wanna share my, my screen, whether I have a PowerPoint or I wanna share my browser window or I wanna share my desktop, I can do that all within OBS. Now, how am I gonna do that? Well, over here, you can see we already have our webcam set up. I wanna add another scene. So I'm gonna click on the plus button and I'm gonna name this, uh, let's call this browser window. And then I'm gonna click on OK. Now, once I've done that, all of a sudden my screen is blank because I have no sources in that particular scene. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add a source, of course. So, wait, that rhymed. <laughs> oh man, I keep getting cornier and cornier. Now, I have a number of different ways I can do it. I can do a, a display capture, I can do a, a browser source, or I can do a window capture. And I wanna explain the differences to you by showing it to you actually. So if I click on browser source, and I'm just gonna leave the name there because I'm not really gonna use it, it's gonna ask me for the URL and the width and the height and all that good stuff, and it's gonna show that particular URL. Now, I don't like this option because this is loading it within OBS. I would rather use my browser, whether I'm using Chrome or Safari or whatever the case might be, I wanna be able to kinda of move around in that browser. So this is not what I want. I'm gonna click on cancel and then remove that particular source. Then I'm gonna show you a display capture. So if I do a display capture, and I got, I'm gonna call this uh, my display capture, I'm just gonna keep it as that, and click on OK. Now all of a sudden, it shows this particular monitor. Now of course, on this monitor, I have OBS, which is showing OBS, which is showing OBS, and then you have this kind of infinite loop of OBS. I have two monitors connected, so I'm gonna actually select display number one, which is this browser window, which is what I wanted to show you. Now here's the thing. If I do a display capture like this and I can select the cropping and all that stuff, I'm gonna click on okay for now and show you the significance of this. Well, first of all, what I'm noticing is this actually goes beyond the screen. It's too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it, go to transform and then have it fit the screen. And now you're seeing the entire window. This is my blog at becomeablogger.com. And it's showing you the entire screen. Now the significance here is if I open something else on that screen, so here you can see um, my finder and I can do all kinds of stuff. So if I load something else, let's say I open up a PowerPoint and I move that PowerPoint in here, now you can see that as well. That is a display capture. It is capturing whatever you have on that particular monitor. If that's what you wanna do, then that is perfectly fine. But you also have another option. And I wanna show you that other option. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this display capture and click on yes. And then I'm gonna add a window capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and select window capture. And this one I'm gonna name Safari because that's the browser I'm currently using. And I'm gonna click on okay. Now it's gonna ask me which window am I trying to display. I'm gonna click on here and every single window that, that I can show is gonna be right there and available. I am looking for Safari. So I'm gonna come down here to Safari, start a blog, change the world, and click on okay. Now once again, you can see this little red line here shows you that it's going beyond this little window and that's beyond what your the viewer is gonna see. So I'm gonna go back to transform and fit to screen, and there we have it. Now, it doesn't matter what I do. Like right now, I actually have a PowerPoint window in front of this, but it's not caring about that. It's just gonna show what I said. The specific window that I told it to show is what it's gonna show. And you know, I'm browsing around and doing other things in other windows on that same screen, and it's not affecting it at all. 
when I am sharing my screen and I'm sharing a browser, this is what I am usually doing, not sharing the entire display. I would rather set up a window capture for my browser and another window capture for my PowerPoint, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, so that when I select Safari, it is only showing you Safari. And now if I want to switch back to my webcam, I can switch back to my webcam, to webcam, not webcam, but I can switch to the webcam. Um, man, I keep getting cornier and cornier. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you got some value from that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up four basic scenes and then switch between them during your live stream. That's it for this video. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And until next time, take care and God bless. Oh, hey, really quick, before you leave, if you want to get access to my free OBS guide that will teach you everything you need to know about OBS Studio, you can do it in one of two ways. Number one, if you're in the U.S., just text the word OBS guide as one word to 44222. You can just take out your phone and do that. It's really simple. Or if you're not in the U.S. or you prefer to do it on your computer, go to becomeablogger.com slash OBS. When you sign up there, you're going to get my free guide and you're going to be able to get emails whenever I have something new and cool to share with you about building a blogging business. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, and of course, this is YouTube. You can subscribe. Go ahead. You know you want to. And of course, there's another video. Just click it. I'll be there waiting. Go ahead. Click it.